Hey guys, Josh here and in today's video I'm going to be taking a first look at Potion Craft. It is a game in which you're an alchemist so you have to make different potions and you manage a potion shop. And this game comes out in early access on Steam on September 21st, 2021. It's being developed by Nice Play Games, which is a small studio based in Russia, and it's published by Tiny Build, and they've sent me a key for the game so I can check it out for you guys. So just keep in mind, it's an early access, so there might be some features missing. Actually, if we click here about full version, you can see the features that maybe we don't have yet that will be in the full version of the game. So there's gonna be a fully operational alchemy machine, legendary substances and salts, reputation-based dynamically generated queue of visitors, notes and recipes, additional requirements for potions, unique maps and potion bases, new goals upgrades talents, garden upgrades, planting management, so there's gonna be some gardening, lots of new effects and ways to please customers. So this gives you a little idea of the features that are gonna be in this game. And let's just start a new game. So the story begins, you're a novice alchemist wandering the world in search of your destiny. After a long journey, you have finally found a place to ply your trade. Okay. Abandoned house, you found an old abandoned house on the edge of town. Judging by the alchemy equipment and garden, the former owner seems to have practiced alchemy. Apparently, a wizard used to live here, but the layer of dust and the condition of the house suggest that it has been empty for a long time. Alright. And you decide to turn the house into a potion shop. After several days of cleaning and preparing, the shop is ready for its first customer. It's time to remember your alchemy skills and start this new life in town. And as you can see right now, this game looks so gorgeous. They took inspiration from medieval manuscripts and medical text and like look at these little plants and look at every everything it just looks so good uh, okay so let's add some ingredients potions are made from ingredients take two terrarias and two water blooms from your inventory and throw them in the cauldron to move ingredients click and hold the mouse drag them to the cauldron and let go pay attention to the alchemy map on the laboratory wall it shows you the path the ingredients create once they are added to the cauldron. So, Terraria is one of the most famous alchemy ingredients. It got its name for magical properties best revealed in earth element recipes. Oh wow, look at this little animation. So you put this in a cauldron like this, and then there's some stuff happening on the map when you put your ingredients. So we'll figure out, <laughs> we'll see how that works. So I think you'll have to go to certain places, basically, and depending on Basically, you make your movements with the ingredients. I'm not too sure. I, I guess we'll find out. So, okay. So, I've added the ingredients. Next, after adding ingredients, you can stir the potion. Stirring the potion advances the potion icon down the path defined by the ingredients. Use the spoon to stir. Click and hold the mouse and move the spoon back and forth until the potion icon on the map reaches the desired position. The stirring allows the potion icon to collect experience points. Accumulating experience point lets you level up but has no effect on the current potion. Look at the little hand, that's so cute. Okay, <laughs> let's do this. So the potion is going forward on the map and then we've reached our destination. What happens if I stir more? So if I just stir more, I'm gonna get more experience. Is that what they said? I forgot already what they... Oh, look at... Look at... Oops, oops, <laughs> I threw my spoon. Okay, let's put this back here. I love this, I love everything. Okay, heating. Now the potion icon is touching an unknown effect. To find out what the effect does, you need to add it to the current potion. To add the effect to the potion, you need to bring the water in the cauldron to a boil. Use the bellows to blow on the coals and heat the cauldron to the desired temperature. So let's do this. Take the bellows by the handle. Okay, so you just do this like this. You've added a new effect to the potion. Healing, nice. To finish making the potion, press finish potion. F finish sorry <laughs> finish potion okay so uh let's check okay weak potion of healing one heart nice you can zoom in and out on the map and that's how okay all right so let's finish the potion grinding ingredients a mortar and pestle are an alchemist's best friends you can use the mortar and pestle to grind up practically any ingredient and unlock their potential this helps you create the same potion using fewer ingredients Try to create the same potion using just one terraria and one water bloom. 
take Terraria out from your inventory, place it in the mortar and grind it up with the pestle until it turns to mush. The more you grind an ingredient, the longer the path that ingredients will make on the alchemy map once it's added to the cauldron. That's nice and I'm assuming maybe you don't always want to have a long path if you need to reach somewhere that's not as long, I don't know, not as far. So let's grab- oh my gosh this is so satisfying. Oh, this is so <laughs> this is so fun. Okay, add ground terraria to the cauldron. So let's put this here. Let's put this in there. Completely grind the water bloom using the mortar and pestle. So water bloom like this. And let's add to the cauldron like that. And let's stir. So it's gonna be the exact same as the first potion, basically, right? And then you heat it up. Oh, saving a potion recipe. Excellent, you made the very same potion but used half as many ingredients. Your first potion attempt won't always be the most optimal, so experiment and perfect it. If you're happy with the potion you made, save it in the recipe book, then you can make that potion in the future with the click of a button. Save the recipe for your current potion, press save recipe. Oh, so maybe you have to kind of do trial and error to really discover the potion. So once you do something successfully, you want to make sure you save it. So let's finish it. Moving between rooms. You are the owner of a potion shop and your task is not only to brew potions, but also sell them to customers. A customer has arrived, go to the shop. Okay, so that's the shop offering potions for sale. Every day, people from all over town and even from other towns will step in to buy various magic potions. Your job is to brew potions in the laboratory and sell them to customers. Many potions must be brewed for a specific purpose, but it's still a good idea to keep a few of the most popular potions on hand just in case. If a customer likes a potion, it will be clear from their reaction. Okay, so let's meet our first customer. Offer a potion for sale, take it from your inventory and place it on the scale. Good afternoon. Yesterday at a friend's party, I burned my tongue on some hot soup. Now I can't taste a thing and I'm a brewer. I need to be able to check the quality of my product. My tongue is useless now. Do you have a healing tincture of some kind? Of course I do. So I have a weak potion of healing. That should work for you. Oops. Uh, let's place it here. The amount of gold you will receive from selling a potion is shown in the sell button. All right, and you can haggle maybe a little bit later after the tutorial. So let's sell this for 10 gold. And the customer needs this kind of potion. Okay, okay, all right, okay. My husband has been ill for some time now, but recently he got even worse. Now he can't even get up. He has a fever and sweats. Do you have any medicine for my poor husband? Yes, of course, I have a weak potion of healing for you. Oh, and this time we're gonna haggle. So to make more money on a potion, you can try haggling. Successful haggling could significantly increase the price of a potion. But unsuccessful haggling could do the opposite, make it drop. So let's try to haggle. Oh wow, that looks fun. Okay, okay. so I just read everything. So basically, uh, you want to get it in the to stop in the yellow areas. And once you're done doing your deal, you got to hit the green areas. So let's try to get a little sun. Okay, so you just do like this. And uh, yeah, you just try to get as many bonuses as you can. And as you can see, the price is changing. And I think every second, like, if you wait too much, it's gonna go down as well. And I think if you fail, if you hit an empty area, oh yeah, it's gonna go down as well. So, okay, uh, maybe I'm gonna get it to 13 coins. And once it's at 13, I'm gonna... You know what, uh, let's do 12, that's pretty good. Okay, sell for 12. Yay, lack of suitable potions. You will often not have a ready-made potions for certain customers. That's okay. You can always go back to the lab and make the potion they need. There's no time limit so you can focus on the recipe. The client will not leave. That's good to know. So go to the garden to gather ingredients for the potion. It's on the right of the lab. Okay, so mice have infested my hut, even though I have a cat. The cat just lies on the cabinets and watches the mice do whatever you please. So I need a vial of rat poison. It'll be easier to poison those rodents than wait for the stupid cat's help. Alright, so let's go in our garden, our beautiful garden. The Enchanted Garden is one of the alchemist's main sources for ingredients. Every day, new ingredients will grow in the garden. Don't forget to pick them from time to time. Click on ingredients to gather. So let's get one Terraria and one beautiful Fire Bell. And let's go back to the lab. 
So the customer needs poison, which means you need to create a potion with the poison effect. You will have to look for the most effects on your own throughout the map. But remember from your alchemy lessons that such a potion can be made from one Terraria and one Fire Bell. So try making a potion yourself. Don't forget to use all of the alchemy equipment available. Don't be afraid of failure. So as we saw earlier, oh, you can always try again by pressing the button in the upper left on this window. Okay, so as we saw earlier, so if I go here, the little heart, that's going to be healing, right? So I want to try to find a different effect. So maybe I can try to go... Okay, let's see. So this fire bell goes left and Terraria goes down. So maybe I can try to go left and then go down and I'm not gonna grind Yeah, maybe I should grind them. Maybe you know what? I want to find what this effect is right here. So let's not grind it and then put the Terraria right here like this and let's see what is this one right here and uh, let's see if we fail or not and now to see the effect we're gonna just heat it up like this and it seems like this one is maybe taking a little bit longer um, to heat up I'm not too sure why oh actually the effects are the big oh I thought that the small books would be effects but no, I need to get the big bubbles actually. Okay, you know what? Okay, let's restart. So I'm gonna have to do, uh, I'm gonna have to grind them, right? Okay, so let's restart. So there was a restart button. Okay, right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna grind. Can I grind everything together? Oh yeah, oh no. Okay, like this. So I'm not too sure what the small books are, but I guess we're gonna find that soon enough. Okay, like this. And now uh, let's stir. Uh, okay, so that's probably the poison effect. And all right, I made it. So that's, oh, I'm gonna save the recipe. And yeah, finish the potion. And now we're gonna go back to the shop. I'm gonna sell that to you. And maybe we can try haggling. I'm gonna get it to maybe 14. In 14 gold, I think that'll be pretty good. Now we're at 13. 14, yes, I made it. Once the last customer leaves the shop, you can have a rest in your bedroom. It's above the lab. Go to the bedroom to end the day. To end the day, click on the bed. Okay, let's go to sleep. This is such a beautiful game, honestly. And the music is pretty good as well. So that's the end of the tutorial. So you have refreshed your alchemy knowledge and familiarized yourself with the alchemy equipment. In the attic next to the bed, you found a few ingredients and a ladle for water. This is your potion shop now and you decide what to do next. All right. So let's do that. So I got a few ingredients. So wind bloom that goes down, water bloom goes right, terraria goes up. And fire bell goes left. Yes. Um, oh, basement. This alchemy machine is badly damaged. Find a merchant who can sell you parts for a new alchemy machine. Oh, so, okay, that sounds interesting. Okay, so now let's pick up everything in the garden. So I think you don't have to plant any, I think it just grows automatically in the garden. And here you've got your level. So you gain experience for crafting potions, exploring the alchemy map, and collecting books. Oh, collecting books in the map. Okay, so you, the little books that we saw in the map earlier, that's for experience. Um, and doing goals and pretty much everything you do. Okay, so, and then, so you've got this tree. So I've got two talent points. So I could increase my visibility radius on the alchemy map, allowing you to explore new areas faster. That's pretty nice. Alchemical practice, additional bonuses appear on the alchemy map that give experience when collected. So I think that's nice. So that's gonna actually make me level up faster. This one makes prices become 5% more profitable and you can haggle up to 5% more of the original price. Okay, so they're all the same. Uh, the only thing that changes is the percentage. So I think I'm gonna start with this one um, because that's what's really gonna allow me to get more experience and then level up faster. Uh, so I think a long term 
I should start with that. Uh, so there's a calendar out in the full version of the game. Uh, and here you've got all of the different things. So there's lots of goals to accomplish. So for example, uh, starting a new day, going to the bedroom, create potion of healing, poisoning, fire, frost, light, and uh, lots of stuff. So, okay, let's go to our shop. Let's greet our first customer. Uh, our first post tutorial customer. Alchemist, give me a healing potion. A bandit shot me through the shoulder with an arrow yesterday. The wound isn't serious, but I can't lie around for a whole month. I need to get back to work soon. All right, I know how to make a healing potion. Uh, so, oh, we can name the potions, actually. That's nice, I didn't, okay. Um, okay, so... Uh, healing potion. So I'm gonna put water bloom like this. I don't know if eventually there's gonna be some like really tricky recipes where you have to be like kind of halfway in between and you have to like half grind your ingredients to like really be precise on a distance. Um, I don't know. That would be interesting to see. Uh, but yeah, for now they're pretty straightforward. So let's do this. Oh, and I've got this level for water. What happens if you add water actually? Oh, if you add water, it goes toward the center of the map, but like in diagonal, like it really goes towards the center. So I kind of messed up. I messed up my potion now. Uh, okay, let's re wait. There's a restart button, right? Oops. Um, wait, can I really, res uh, can I still restart? I think maybe there's no, re oh yeah, here, no. Oh, maybe here? Reset potion, all the ingredients you use will be lost. Oh no! Okay, let me... Ah, I really messed up my potion. I thought I could just try it again. Should I try to save it and try to do a different... Weird shroom. Oh wow, that's an interesting path. Maybe... Yeah, what should I do now? I'm kind of stuck right <laughs> Okay, you know what? Let's try to go down and let's try to find something else. You know what? Let's experience and learn new things from our mistake. So, you know what? Let's put more Terraria in this. Oh, and I think if you put... No, never mind. Never mind. I didn't say anything. And let's keep going down. Oh, potion fail. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I think you can't if you go too far. Okay, so I failed that potion. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> let's try this one more time. So, I'm not gonna put any water this time, but that's... Good to know. They didn't explain the water in the tutorial, so like this. And then you heat it up. And yeah, oh. Yeah, so you just tap on the potion like this. And so you can make multiple potions in a row. So you know what? Maybe I should make another healing potion. Oops, I should have grinded it. Um, no, it's okay. I'm just gonna put another one. Then I'm gonna grind this one. Yeah, I think it's good to like make a few potions in a row so I don't have to come back every time a customer wants something. So I'm gonna bring them to the customer like this. And I think we can probably haggle a little bit. I wanna bring it to maybe 12 is gonna be good. The haggling is like, it's fun. I like the, oops, I messed up. I brought it back to, yeah, it goes back down if you fail. Okay, one more. Oops. Ah, I'm messing up. Okay, and that's gonna be good enough. 11, all right. So, good afternoon. We have trouble in our village. Invasive beetles have taken up in our wheat fields. They're eating our harvest and they're doing it fast. We need to poison them all or our harvest is completely doomed. Okay, so let me, I wanna make new potions, but uh, for now they're just asking for healing and poison. So let's make another poison and like this and then we go down with some terraria like that all right so i'm gonna bring it here we're gonna haggle a little bit all right 14 that's pretty good and I had some strange soup for lunch today and now I don't feel so good you have anything for troubled got no more gastronomic adventures I don't know if the healing potion is gonna work. Let me see if I can get any hints. 
Um, potion of fire, frost, light. So maybe these are the only potions available for now. So I think it's probably just the healing potion that's gonna work for her. Let me see if there's anything else. So there's a recipe book here, so you can see the potions that you made. Weak potion of healing. Oh, and you can change. Oh yeah, you can change the little icon. So for example, if my on my healing potions I wanna have like white hearts instead of red hearts, I could do something like that. And you can change their names, so that's nice. And you can see um, the ingredients in the process. So 11 steers and the three pumps brew this recipe oh and maybe you can brew them like instantly oh yes you can actually make them instantly once you've made them uh, before so uh, that's pretty nice and so let me make another poison one so I think there's only five different potions for now um, let's see what else we have so there's a manual in development legendary recipes so I think that's when you're gonna have the, the machine that's broken. You're gonna be able to do some more complicated stuff with this. And the shop upgrades, still in development. Ingredients, potions. Okay, all right, let's go. Okay, so let's fix her stomach with this little potion. So I think this gives you a nice idea of the game. Uh, even though there's not that many potions and stuff for now, just keep in mind it's a game in early access. Uh, but it just looks so good so far and uh, I definitely think it's gonna be a fun Fun game for sure. So, okay. I think that's gonna be good like this And let's see what she needs. Are you the new alchemist? I'm the local herbalist. I gather plants and sell them want to see what I have for sales Of course show me your goods So she's selling herbs which oh, oh this one. I don't have a tangle. Oh wow. That's a fancy pat Wet and slippery. So how much is it? 68. You know what? Let's haggle. I find it a little bit expensive for now. Oh, that look at that price going down, guys. That's so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more. Ah, it's going back up. Okay, so if if you if it takes you too long, yeah, okay. 55. Oh, I think that's a pretty good deal. Awesome. Okay. Thank you so much. Do you sell anything besides herbs? I only sell what I know about. Flowers, herbs, roots, and various berries and fruits. You can buy other things from other merchants. Alright, thank you so much. Bye bye. I need a strong and fast acting poison. I'd appreciate if you saved your questions and kept our little deal a secret. Of course. Take this. And... Yeah, hopefully we get a request for a different potion soon. Alright, 14. Oh, as you can see, I got... I think my reputation went down. So, oh, as you can see here, reputation minus 12. So I think maybe it was not a good thing to sell to that shady <laughs> shady guy. Uh, hello, I was summoned to deal with an ice elemental tormenting a mountain village. An ordinary sword is useless against elementals, but if you can give me a fire potion, I'll coat my blade with it and take that elemental down. Of course, I would be happy to help you with that. So... Fire, fire, fire. Okay, so let's find out how to <laughs> do some fire stuff. Okay, so I think these skulls, you probably can... I think if you touch these skulls, that's when your recipe fails. Mm, so maybe we can go up. I feel like fire would be up there. So let's try that. And hopefully I don't mess up too much like this and so let's brew let's okay so now hmm so maybe i should go left i mean yeah left like this and oh oh there's something here oh yeah so now i gotta go left but just a tiny bit right so i think if i just put this like this i think that should be good and let's see what that effect is. Oh, light effect. Nice. Um, so let's save this. But that's not going to help me for today. Maybe we can do this, uh, which is going to increase my radius. So I can see a little bit further away. So I can see my sun right here. 
maybe let's check this side right here. There's probably something on that side, right? So let's go up again. Oh, wait. With wind bloom. And then you steer. Oops. <laughs> Sometimes my, my spoon just goes out of the pot. Okay, and then we go right like this so yeah you don't want to touch this cause that's what's gonna make you fill your potion and i like that the portar and missile they're actually like taking the colors of the ingredients as you can see it's kind of like greenish now can i put this oh no you cannot put it in the <laughs> in the cauldron okay all right so let's do this and uh, let's stir oh so there's something here i'm gonna stop here i don't know what happens if you get into that Thing, but I'm, I'm not gonna do it and like this I don't know if I'm actually I might have to go down a little bit more I don't know if I'm gonna be close enough let's see oh yeah oh no ah a little bit so you know what let's put a little bit of water and yes so now we're fine and let's heat it up and see how that goes so what is that mana you unlocked a new effect weak potion of mana that's nice and okay oh let's save the recipe where could be the fire you know what let me try to go down in that area and i'm assuming later you can probably put multiple effects like i don't know if you can for example uh go to healing and then add the healing effect and then go to light and then add some light effect or something like that or you know like combine different effects like that that's probably something you can do maybe later in the game uh so let's add some terraria and now let's tear this as much as we can and i still don't see anything so at least we're gonna get some experience so as you can see there's three little books here so who knows maybe i want to see my experience so my experience is like a 365 out of 600 so if i get these books 451 yeah okay so there's something here all right we're making some progress so let's use some fire bell and who knows maybe the fire bell is gonna lead us to the fire let's see oh i need to go down a bit more just a tiny bit yeah let's add a tiny little bit of terraria and like this and now let's heat it up fast growth you unlocked a new effect so there's actually quite a few different uh quite a few different recipes so now if i look at my weak portion of mana light poisoning growth so i haven't seen any kind of like fire potion right so there's at least fire and frost that I have not discovered yet. And I don't have too much stuff left. So I think what I might do, maybe on the left here, there might be something. And so let's go down first. All right, so, oh, I almost, almost touched the skulls and I'm not too sure this kind of vortex thing. Oh, there's something up here actually. Okay, so let me oh my gosh so if i go up here i think i might touch the skulls uh i don't know you know what i think i'm gonna go left a tiny little bit because i'm a little bit scared of these skulls. oh as you can see there's ah, that's so scary okay so now we're should be good and wind bloom yeah actually wind bloom that brings you up but still not not in a very straight line right uh, so okay hopefully I'm, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to manage to get there safely okay yeah we're gonna be good we're gonna be fine so let's just add a tiny bit more wind bloom like this and then fire oh I should have yeah okay uh, okay let's put this oh okay actually I made it I made it close enough so let's see oh yes fire potion finally sorry for making you wait uh let's oh 17 gold that's pretty nice 
Okay, so let's try to get 20. I think 20 would be a pretty good price because I worked really, really hard to make that potion. So 20 gold and that gave me a good reputation. So yeah, I need to make my rep I want to have a good reputation. Oh, what a coincidence. Command sent me to fight an elemental too. But this one is a fire elemental. So yeah, this one, he's going to want to have uh, like a frost thing. You know what? Not today. Oops. Oops. <laughs> um, so I think I'm gonna go to bed. So that's all the customers for today. Uh, next time I'm gonna have to try to find a frost. And I think I'm actually gonna have found all the... Oh gosh, I forgot to save... Oh, save last recipe. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I think the only one I'm missing now is gonna be the frost. Um, yeah. And as you can see... Oh, so you can see the recipe here, right? How I did it. So that was <laughs> that was a lot of steps. But it was pretty fun and, and now I can brew it just like this. So it takes a lot of ingredients. So, okay, let's go to our bed. That was a pretty long day. And you know what, guys? I think that's going to be pretty much it. Um, hopefully this video will give you a good idea of what this game is. If you are thinking of getting it. Uh, it's available on Steam right now in early access. I'm not sure when the full version of the game is going to come out. But it is fun. Um, I'm just a little bit concerned. Of course, now it's early access, so there's not... It seems like there's not that many different potions you can make right now. So once you've discovered all of these potions, um, it might become a little bit repetitive. But there's going to be more features later, more like a more complex reputation system and like some alchemy machines and lots of other mechanics so i think this game is pretty promising and i'm definitely gonna keep an eye on it for the future updates and i'm gonna let you guys know when there are updates and new content uh for now um maybe i can upgrade my haggling you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna boost the alchemical practice first uh, yeah but that's pretty much it let me know guys if you'd like to see more about this game and make sure you click like and subscribe if you don't want to miss out more content like this. And I'm going to see you all in the next video.